The alleged audio tape conversation issue telecast by some TV channels in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana is now taking the shape of a full-blown political war between the ruling parties of both the states. The reported conversation suggested that the Andhra CM was giving assurance of all sorts to the MLA if he votes for TDP nominee in the Telangana Legislative Council election. However, the Andhra Pradesh government dubbed the tapes as fabricated. The whole episode started by TRS party, manipulation, maneuvering, bribe, everything, conspiracy, everything from TRS side. As far as T TDP is concerned, we are nothing to do with these tapes or money transactions. We are very clear on that. This is a, a completely a conspiracy to defame the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh and to see that the, 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 the moral courage of the people of Andhra Pradesh is hit at. This is what they have done. This episode has led to a volley of allegations and counter-allegations between Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. TDP leaders have filed an FIR against Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao for allegedly illegally tapping Chandrababu Naidu's phone. TDP leaders sought the intervention of Governor ESL Narsimhan in this entire case. These leaders have accused K.C. Rao for damaging the image of their party and chief minister. On the other hand, Telangana's ruling TRS rejected such allegations and said, tape clearly brings out the truth as to who is guilty. Election is going on. And the truth is that the whole world has seen it. The whole country has seen it. A Telugu Desham Party deputy leader has been put in 50 lakh rupees. इसके बाद में भी अगर वो समझते हैं कि जनता को बेवकूफ बना सकते हैं तो ये सरासर गलत है चंद्रबाबू नायडू साहब और उनकी जो पार्टी है तेलुगु देशम करप्ट प्रैक्टिसेस में वो लोग इंडल्ज उन्होंने किया उसके उसके उस लिए वो लोग आज एंटी करप्शन ब्यूरो ने उनको पकड़ लिया while Congress leader Digvijay Singh tweeted on this issue and said that if the audio tapes of Chandrababu regarding cash for votes are genuine then he must resign BJP also termed the cash for vote case as shameful. इसके डिटेल्स की जानकारी तो हमको नहीं है। हाँ, ये टीवी पर ये हमने देखा है एक चल रहा था स्टिंग जिसमें कि कुछ कैश दिए जा रहे थे किसी के वोट खरीदने के लिए बहुत शर्म की बात। The Anti-Corruption Bureau of Telangana is in the process of questioning TDP MLA Revan Thredi and two others arrested in connection with the case. On May 31st. ACB arrested Reddy for allegedly trying to bribe Stephenson into voting for the TDP nominee in the Telangana Legislative Council elections. Based on a complaint by Stephenson, ACB officials arrested Revant, Sebastian Harry and Uday Sinha as they were allegedly handing over 50 lakh rupees to the MLA. Later on, some channels claimed by playing the audio tape that Chief Minister Naidu was talking to that nominated legislator. Ever since the formation of the new state of Telangana, its relations with Andhra Pradesh have not been good with regard to several contentious issues like demarcation of boundary, site of capital. Now this issue has too snowballed into a face-off between the ruling parties of both the states. One which seems to further add to the misgivings and mistrust. DD News